Hey guys, and welcome to episode 2 of Triple T. This is a relatively simple tutorial today. We're going to learn how to resize characters so that they are different sizes. And um, again, this is pretty simple to do. So what you're going to first do is open up the bone folder after opening your model inside of the model's uh, you know, expandable folder. So then you're going to find some bones. So it's going to be top end, and then you're going to find a bunch more stuff, and then transcend. And uh, the trick for this is you need to find characters that have an I yellow M bone. And because um, that's what we're going to use. Um, it affects the eyes, you know, um, what's it called? <laughs> it affects the um, final smash eyes. So I want you to realize now that when you're doing this, for simplicity's sake, just uh, realize that your smash eyes are not going to work, um, you know, when you do this. So basically you're going to sacrifice the smash eyes to get a uh, recessed character. I, I don't use final smashes that often, so I'm pretty fine with that. <laughs> so what you're going to do first is you're going to rename it. I'm going to rename it to magic. That's what I usually call it. And then what you're going to do is, is you're going to, there we go. You're going to take this and you're going to do control and arrow keys to move it right above the transcend bone. And now, you're going to right click the transcend bone and do add to next up. And so you know you can see that the transcend bone is part of the magic bone. Now, the thing is, ILOM is a bone that doesn't affect stuff very often. It usually just um, is for hiding the yellow uh, final smash eyes. So um, even though this is part of this bone, it won't actually be affected by anything. Which is good because, you know, normally, this isn't done, normally nothing's done to this bone. But you can make it do stuff if you, uh, you know scale it or make it move. You can move it actually too so the whole character would move to the side but I have no idea why you do that. Um, or you can put them in the background I guess if you move them backward. But for now we're just going to learn how to scale. So uh, first I'm going to do is I'm going to make one flat. So I'm going to do 0 0.01. This is the x-axis. So this, this will change how uh, you know this will flatten the character relative to the screen or make them really far you know outward towards the screen. So First one we're going to do is I'm going to flatten it, so I'm going to, after I have this saved, I'm going to go to Control A, and then save as a archive pair, so and fit Mario 00, 00 to my desktop. And then 00, 00 is going to be a flat one, and I'll say I want to make him tall instead. Uh, I'm going to do 1, and then this is the Y scale, which is um, left and right, and then Z is up and down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 0. Point, I'm going to do, do 5, so it's going to be 5 times higher than normal. And I'll say this is fit Mario 01 dot pair to the desktop. So now that one, this one right here is going to be um, really, really tall. And then this one, let's just make him twice as large as normal. Two, two, two. Thing to notice too um, is that when you're doing this type of uh, editing with the bones, um, characters that are resized like this, their scale will be reset when they are grabbed. Um, it's not really noticeable unless you have characters who are significantly changed in size. And honestly, I think it's fine again. It's not big of a deal. Um, I, I, I honestly, I play with characters that are size modded on a, on a for fun build every so often. So um, it's not it's not too bad. Just just keep that in mind though. So again, Control A. I'm say this one as dot pair, and then fit Mario. Mario doesn't have a red skin, so I'm gonna change that 01 pair. I'm gonna do this one as 02. So it's going to be green Mario, and then this is going to be oh, 03, so that's going to be blue Mario. And so now I'm going to inject this into my game. Um, there we go. Clicking all these files, put it inside there. Yeah, I want to overwrite everything. Saved, and let's open up Dolphin. Okay, and so now to test this, if I go Mario. Mario, and then again I'm going to do blue Mario, and then I want green Mario. Yes, this is a green Mario. Mario. Alright, this should be, this should work fine. Alright, now, so, um, ignore the fact that his head is completely invisible. Um, I have no idea why that is, actually. But, um, so let's look, let's look at our examples and results here. So, um, the one, the, this one right here, 
which is relatively flat. Um, the reason his knees are like that is because I didn't make it completely flat. Um, besides that, though, he's he's almost completely flat here. I say I, that's because I said it's a 0 0.01. However, um, if you instead set it to like 0 0.001, it'd be even flatter, which would probably fix that problem. Um, and so now you can see this one here is twice as. Okay, there we go. Hold on. This one here is twice as large as normal Mario would be. Um, again, I'm pretty sure that the reason it's hidden like this is because um, the eye yellow bone is hidden, which means the head is being hidden for whatever reason. Um, if this happens, I would either try on a different character or use a different bone besides eye yellow N. And then, so now we have obviously the one. I tried to make this one twice as tall, and apparently I made him twice as fat. Um, or did I want to make him fat? I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, so that's how you do character size changes. And they do not affect how much you move. So, like, huge characters will still run at normal speeds that a normal size character would run. So you still travel the stage in the same amount of time. So jump distance is the same, too. Um, your hitboxes are changed, though. Uh, so you can see that Mario, that one there, can reach very, very far. Um, but now if I grab him... Oh, okay, that reset him for some reason. See, yeah, grabbing does some weird stuff to characters, too. I'll let you guys know that. Um, I'm playing on keyboard right now, so... Right, so, yeah, so here, you can see... that. Uh, crap, I gotta grab another guy. Hold on, hold on, hold on here. Okay, right, right, right there it happened. I'm trying to get a good, uh, thing here. Actually, you can see now, see how his face is hidden, is unhidden like this whenever he's hurt um, by damage. It's because he's got a facial animation, and uh, for some reason one of his facial animations got changed for the ILM bone. And so whenever um, he's hurt, he's all normal and fine. So yeah, in this, for this example, in this case, I just use a different bone. Um, like maybe the cap end bone or something. Try to find something that's not used. Oh, that matter is just destroying. Just trying to grab one guy once. <laughs> Come on. Come on down here, Mario. I had it. I had the grab. There we go. So see, now when I'm throwing him downward, he's completely normal looking. Um, when you throw people, this will happen. And, um, again, it'll, you, it's only during the actual throw while you're grabbing them that they're, they're going to look normal. Um, and once you let go, they're going to look, um, you know... Until you go, they're gonna go back to the size mod too. So it's not much of a problem to really worry about. It's just something that happens, and um, that's pretty much all I really. That's all that there is to it, really. Um, so I hope you guys liked. Um, try to make some weird-looking characters if that's what you're up to. Um, this is usually useful for mods where you're doing like kids. Like a, for example, I'm gonna be doing a um a Toon Link. I mean, uh, excuse me, a um a Ocarina of Time kid Zelda. And so this would be useful because I could make the kid Zelda the size of Zelda in my mod, and then resize her to be kid sized in the game. So, those are some examples. Um, that's all there is to it. I hope you guys liked, and hope this is easy to understand. So, um, if you have any questions, just post them on the Smashboards link. Uh, I'll see you.